Hi everyone, this is Lance Bell back with another edition of the Lance Bell Presents Show. Ladies and gentlemen, there was protest this week in Michigan. Now you probably already heard about the white the right to work protest there. Now ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna play this video first by YouTube user Frank Shaft. Watch this and I'll continue on in a moment. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you see the protest, what's going on there. Now, I'm going to play you the, the line from Michigan Governor Rick Snyder. This is from his webpage from the state of Michigan. Here's what he said. Now, watch this. I want to talk to you about workplace fairness and equity. I'm often called right to work by many people, but I think workplace fairness and equity is a better way to describe it because it's about being pro-worker and giving workers the freedom to choose who they associate with. Um, if you look at it, this is an issue that I said was not on my agenda for some time. And why did I say that? Only about 17.5% of our workers in the state belong to a union. Most people do not, so it wasn't a relevant issue for most Michiganders. Um, but if you step back and look at it, um, we're losing a major competitive advantage. Um, Indiana has become a right-to-work state, and I've looked at their pipeline. They've significantly increased the number of businesses looking to come to Indiana and grow in Indiana um, due to this legislation. So there are two main reasons I'm asking the Michigan legislature to move forward with a package of bills on workplace fairness and equity. And I'm going to sign those bills when they come to my desk. First, it's about being pro-worker. It's about hardworking Michiganders having the freedom to choose who they associate with. Um, I encourage unions to be more proactive in presenting the case as to why it's good to belong to a union and why people would want to join. But ultimately, I want to be pro-worker and say the worker should have the ultimate decision do, should they belong or not. The second one is about being more healthy in Michigan in terms of our economy. Um, if you look at the numbers, the last two years we've done well. We've added over 140,000 jobs. We're forecasted to add 110,000 jobs over the next two years. But if you add that up, that's only 250,000 jobs. We've lost over 750,000 jobs during the years 2000 through 2010. I want to see that rate go up to even be bigger and better. And when I looked at Indiana, here's an opportunity to see that pace increase. So for two good reasons, it's time to look at workplace fairness and equity in Michigan and be pro-worker. First, workers should have the freedom to choose. And second, it will help with our economic growth. So I encourage the legislature to get this done, to pass these bills so I can sign them. And I encourage all Michiganders to support this legislation because it's about the right thing for hardworking Michigan workers and it's the right thing for our economic growth. Now, Governor Snyder, you, you in your own admission have stated that this was not even an issue until it became an issue here really recently. And you're using the excuse of Indiana of all places to why you're going to sign it next week. Now, understand something. I'm not going to get into the debate of right to work is right or wrong. We can debate that to the end of time, but don't use that as an excuse for you to sign it. And you got bigger fish to fry. Because the story that got buried this week in Michigan is that the city of Detroit is going to run out of money by the end of the month. That's what you should, re should really be concentrating on. And ladies and gentlemen, you can go find that article for yourself if you didn't see the congress lady, the con not congress lady, excuse me, the council lady there talking about how she wants a handout. Now, Governor, concentrate on that just a little bit more, and we'll be right back.